programme. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to a very controversial topic, actually, and it's quite shocking um, what's happening in some of our schools. White pupils at a school in Haringey, that's a North London borough, have been excluded from extra literacy lessons where the focus will be on teaching black history and culture. Schools will fund Saturday classes for children from black heritage families only to acceler accelerate progress in reading and writing whilst also developing the children's knowledge of black history and culture. Parents were informed that no comparative course will be offered for white pupils or presumably any other ethnic group because, of course, North London is a very diverse area. It's not just black and white kids that will be going to these schools. So I want to get the thoughts of my panel on this one because I'm sure you've got some very strong views. Peter, you often mm. talk on your own channel, yes. the New Culture Forum, about the toxicity of identity politics. Mm. Mm. Do you see this as... Um, well, the logical conclusion of that ideology. Yes, it, it absolutely is, or should be. Not the logical conclusion so much as one of the obvious results mm. of it, actually. I'm not, I didn't mean to split hairs there. Look, I mean, the fact is we've got something happening here which is pure racism, right? That is, uh, white kids, who, by the way, do the worst in our education system, mm. being excluded from classes, right, um, as a result, basically, which is what it is, of critical race theory, which is now being taught in schools far more widely than most people realise, right? It's probably illegal what's happening in this school, right? But you can be pretty sure nothing will be done about it, right? This is pure discrimination, mm. pure discrimination. And but it's based on a racist idea, which is critical race theory, which is that white people are inherently racist by virtue of being white, right? That is what is being taught in schools, right? Something like 60% of schools have either introduced this to kids or they've used outside um, bodies, you know, who come in with the materials to teach it. It's just like the gender argument, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. All I would say, Emily, is I really wish parents have got to wake up. They've got to wake up about what's happening in our schools, you know? Mm -hmm. This is just one of the... I think we're going to see a lot more of it's this. It's worth saying that this is a council initiative more than the schools per se choosing to do this. Yes, it's something that's been offered by this. the council on behalf of the Haringey Education Partnership. Um, but it's quite extraordinary that any additional extra resources mm -hmm. would be given, provided to students mm -hmm. based on their ethnicity. I mean, there's so much to say about this. I mean, it's patronising for one thing, exactly. that it's only the black kids who need extra support. Um, but what do you make of it, It's Stephen? also slightly confusing when they say, you know, people of African uh, or African heritage. I mean, you're, you know, where on earth does that end? Look, the other thing that worries me about this actually happened last September. It's only just come out now um, because some parents have been complaining to Haringey mm. for a long time. And it also costs 400 quid a time. Mm. You know, again, Haringey is not the most wealthy borough in the world, but I think... They the know how to spend money, let me tell you that. Yeah, OK, they but... They spent but... God knows how much changing the road sign, Black Boy Lane, if you remember. I know. And the people who lived on Black Boy Lane, I wrote about this at yeah, the time, the people on Black Boy Lane didn't yeah. want it to change. I know. And I, I remember when I worked for Hammersmith Council, they wanted to change the name of the White City Estate. And they, they did a, a referendum on the whole estate, and 99% of the people said, no, we want to keep it. No, thanks. So, yeah, we, and, and these were people, you know, who, who certainly were... A, but it's countries. crazy, but look, things but that were never racist or considered uh, racist yeah. are now considered racist because they're seen through the lens yeah. of critical race theory or whatever you but want look, to call Peter it. Peter makes a very, very important point. He's made a number of important points. The thing is, about if you have a look at under-attainment in the British educational system, working-class white boys mm. are come bottom of the panel every single time. So how are you going to feel? Because if we're talking about general educational attainment, that's one thing, but they seem to be talking about black history. Now, where I live in West Eden, I've lived all my life, it is in Irish, Polish communities, and we have, you know, Irish lessons that we have the Irish Centre. We make our own our own education. The Polish Saturday schools do that. You don't need to have it spoon-fed to you. If you want to cherish your culture, go ahead and do it, but don't expect the state to pay for it. And above all, don't expect to be having that at the disadvantage of somebody else. It's quite interesting, Peter. I'm just, I'll come to you in just one second. I just want to put this to you because I think the Telegraph broke this story, or at least reported on it first. Mm. Um, a parent with a child at one of these schools said exactly what Stephen is saying. He said, why should black and black heritage children get extra support in reading and writing when it is obvious to anyone with access to the internet that it is white boys who are doing worst academically mm -hmm. and are being left behind and this has been going on for many 
years, here's an idea, why not use these resources to help any child, no matter the colour of their skin, who needs help? How old-fashioned! Yes, I know, but the thing is, that I, I would say one of the reasons that white, uh, young white boys have fallen behind, indeed, are the least likely to go to university, mm. so much for white privilege, yeah. right, uh, Lisa, is indeed because of the general drift of educational policy, which is to constantly, uh, even subconsciously, make them the villains of the piece. I mean, you know, we know that with critical race theory, who is the bogeyman? It is the straight white man, right? They're, they're quite clear about this. And that essentially, as I said, by virtue of, of your whiteness, this makes you racist, right? Which, of course, is ultimately, as I say oh, again, the most racist thing. But the fact is, is that what worries me, I think was far more important uh, than that, is that this is happening in our school. So you're having kids coming out with all of this in their head, just like uh, with gender theory too. Parents, I, I really appeal to parents to look and see who is providing the materials for these classes, mm. and then you've got to demand to be able to see it, because that's the other thing. Quite often, behind schools will actually, they will say, oh, no, we can't, because of commercial reasons, we can't show you and all of this. Mm. Uh, you've just got to keep on going and find out who's indoctrinating your it, kids. Well, it's like with the sex education, um, the tools that were being used in the workshops that yes. were being used the in schools, mermaid. parents yeah. haven't always been able yeah to yeah, actually yeah. view the materials yeah. that their children are being taught on very contentious issues. Yeah. And I think this all stems, although it was going on before, but it got accelerated after the Black Lives mm. Matter movement accelerated in this country after the death of, mm. of George Floyd, mm. after the killing of George Floyd. And it seems like it's still, you know, going through our schools. This, well, this idea. could be one of the determinants in America, particularly. You cannot mm. imagine the, con the debates that are taking place in America at the present time. But, you know, I... I, I the, the, the more I look at this, the, the more I'm horrified by it, a particular situation. And I, I think that we, we have to actually somehow mm. get beyond this. We have to get through this. I think absolutely that's right. Now